Okay. Now we have about 10 minutes to discuss the chart together as a class. And then we'll have uh, about uh, five minutes to prepare an outline and 20 minutes to write your paragraph. Okay, and what can you tell me about this chart? Okay, can anyone answer that? Yeah. We will we'll build this, the addition to the flight deck. In the history program, we can only build one flight deck. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's the, the uh, a fellow student who built it. Mm -hmm. I think it's the deer deck of Marshall, uh, the hospital to school to the deers. Mm -hmm. uh, they do two service. Uh, one is before the workshop and uh, uh, one is after the workshop and to see uh, how men and women uh, improve uh, after, yeah, after the workshop and just like uh, evaluate the, uh, the, the, the solutions of the workshop and the Did you hear that? Your fun? Yeah. Does that make sense? other questions? That was a good description, I think, of the, um, the uh, material. Uh, so what information do you get in the chart? So the box office is a computer report with some kind of graphics that is taken by student government. And most likely there is a Business tour after the workshop. Um, it's just a key day. Um, it's very important. The scores after workshop is really high. It keeps us confidence, like their confidence that they can do it. From six to seven students um, and from all the students that can add the paper. Okay. Um, we're on this one. So this is what? Before workshop is. No, I mean, and what's this? Before workshop. Okay. So, uh, Mika, what you were saying that the males' uh, confidence in their oral presentation ability went from 58 before the workshop to 79, 79. after the workshop. So the workshop helped. Yeah, and the females went from 61 to 82. Uh, any other information that you can get from the workshop? The least increase was in the graphic, right? Yeah, you can only went up by seven points there and six points here, and eight points, ten points, twenty points, twenty-one points. Any thoughts on why that might be? Do we know from the chart why? I think they just want to be in the group or up front. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's nice because the, the, the workshop was focused on Everything. more than graphics, but to the content of the presentation and the content of the content, just mm -hmm. the graphics. Mm -hmm. So the workshop was focused on everything, right? Content, graphics, or yeah.
interesting class. Um, your goal is to write a description of the provided charts. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. I had probably asked a misleading question. You asked, why do you think that is? Because I'm curious. But uh, is that what the instructions tell you to write about? No. So it says describing the project and its results. So it's more important to stick to the facts that you can um, find from the charts rather than analyze than uh, guess what might be the cause. Just the describing. Just describe. That's the goal. Yes. Very good. Um, what information must be included in a good description of the charts? Hmm? Oh, what information must be included in a good description of the charts? kind of the key, right? The changes in content area among males and among females, right? Yeah? Should we be, should, we should, shouldn't we already know the numbers? Pardon? Shouldn't we use the numbers? Use the numbers? You, uh, I think to describe, your job is to describe the project and the results, so I think it would be fine to use the numbers. Uh, any other information you would include in your description? Note that it says write a paragraph describing the project and its results. Mention the four parts. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, vocabulary words that you can use in your description. What are are there is there any academic vocabulary or <coughs> vocabulary in the description that you could use? Uh, Survey, a good word to use. Effects, yep. Results, yep. Evaluate, increase, good. They increase after the workshop. Okay. All of their content around this was mentioned about the increase after the workshop. Okay. So it really helps them. Develop is a good word. Yep, develop content. Good. Meaningful mm -hmm. so what's it? Evaluate. Variations. Variations. Okay. Very good. That's a good word. Good job. Participants is in the um, to talk about the people who participated. The terms are students and participants. You can use some of those words. You don't want to use the language exactly. Right? Because that would make plagiarism. So the advice I've given you on summarizing before, it's best to take notes and write from your notes, not to write directly from this, because then you might borrow too much. Okay, you feel confident? You can write a good description. Pay attention to that last section there, what they're looking for. It's very similar. Is it the same? Exactly, exact the same? exactly the same. It may be. It may be that the people in the program want to compare your midterms with your final exam <laughs> to see if you make any progress. Um, it's the same. Okay. Well, then it should, then hopefully you'll do better this time than last time. <laughs> <Or worse. laughs> um, I would say reread the directions again, write a paragraph.
describing the project and its results. Organize your paragraph clearly. Do you know how to organize a paragraph? I hope so. Include the main points and supporting information from the project. Okay, uh, first you have five minutes to plan your essay on your blank piece of paper. So don't start to write on your summary sheet yet. Is, that, is this even graded? This will be graded. The plan, I'm not sure. I have to collect it. I'm not sure what, what we get graded. But you have five minutes to write a plan and then 20 minutes to write your essay. So first, you just write on the blank sheet. 